I've been coaching vocalists now for 15 years, and I love what I get to do. I love having a front row seat to the process of singers um, moving from being frustrated vocalists, is usually kind of the shape they're in when they come knocking on my door for the first time, to being vocal artists. The vocal artist sees style not as something that puts them in a box, but as something that gives them tools and options. And um, style isn't something that defines them. Style is something that they use. They can move from classical to jazz to contemporary Christian to blues to gospel to R&B. Whatever the style is, style is in their tool bag. So they pull out the tools they need because they've got all those controls. They've got the control panel with all the knobs, and they know what knobs to turn for which style they're in. Style is something that opens up options and opportunities. It's not something that limits and defines. I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see surrounded by your glory. What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you? Here's the two things I want to target. First, um, I heard a little, there's some tension in the voice. There's some constricting that happens, even in the lower part of the range, that's um, affecting the tone. And we hear it more and more when we get to the higher part of the range, and I think we hear it even more if we got to the really high part at the end. So now what that's going to do, anytime he reaches forward and strains like this, water bottle drops, he's busted. <laughs> So we're going to take that option out of the way. So instead of that, why don't you just to open it up more? Um, I can only imagine, rather than, I can only, rather than the high note being here, only, surrounded by, surrounded by your glory. Ooh, a little more of that in the back of the throat going on. And then instead of reaching and tightening here, really support it from the breath. By standing up straight like this, we're going to take that shoulder movement out of the option as well. So... The combination of more openness, more space, more support. Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak it all? It I can only imagine. Yeah, I can only imagine. All right, give me a hand. Great job. You can hear what happened. There's more body. There's more depth. There's a, more freedom. And I could feel myself, and I could sense in the room, we're kind of positioning ourselves. We're leaning in more to what's going on, and we're listening. We're experiencing more of the heart of what's going on. Rather than being preoccupied with the voice, all that goes away, and more of our hearts are engaged as a result. That's why this stuff is important. Not that we can just sound flashier and better and bigger, but more of our heart can come through our voice. Well, I've taken uh, voice lessons from about five different instructors. Uh, back in high school, I took private lessons. I did in college, and I did outside of those as well. And um, I've never really found somebody who can uh, who could train me in exactly the way I was looking for, getting, um, getting specific training for what I want to do. I want, I want to express myself in certain ways, and I want to sing it out, but there's always limitations that I feel with with my voice and with the range that I can reach and I think after going to the workshop today I felt there's hope for me. I have been to so many different um, local instructors to try to fix what I have because I had nodules years, years ago. Just, I just stay at this one range so um, he has shown me that I can sing higher and I'm finding my head voice slowly and um, you know, so I guess it's hope that he's given me with this. Well worth the time and investment, loved it. Uh, Tim has an innate gift to be able to uh, see what's really, in, see the, the, the passion in somebody and be able to call that out in them. It was like he's just, he can see where their weak spots are, he, he knows how to read their body and read their, read their face and see where they're struggling and be able to, you know, give them the tools and techniques to really be able to push beyond their limitations. I, I think he's just really a great great instructor and he has so much to offer so many different types of singers. Where do I begin? He first started us off with um, stress or tension in, in our throat and in our face and I didn't know you know the breathing aspect and singing and how you have your chest voice and your head voice. But what I saw in such a short period of time is how he could take somebody from being able to sing to really be able to 
reach some of their potential. It was just absolutely phenomenal.